Hey everyone, I'm Will, and today we're gonna look at beaked hazelnut and how to identify and find this plant. But before that, remember to like and subscribe and comment down below, and don't forget to press that notification bell down below. So right here, we have some beaked hazelnut. You can find the nuts in the uh, holes. Why, why it's called beaked is because this long stem that's coming out of it. And it is late July. It's actually July 30th. Great time to harvest beaked hazelnut. So what you're looking for in the beaked hazelnut is you're looking for a tree. But these are not gonna be large trees. They're gonna grow just maybe 10, 15 feet uh, tall, but mostly a little bit smaller than 10 feet. Easy harvest is what you're gonna see. They usually grow in dual uh, growths of two, but they can grow in four. Like over here, where it almost looks like it's starting to grow four on that one, it can grow that way. Or sometimes you'll only see one seed. A almost like an oval shape and very serrated with a point. The underside of the leaf also. The branch structuring is a alternate and the wood is spotted and a lightish to dark brown coloration. Uh, trees are going to be uh, grayish coloration through the trunks, not as much showing as spotted, but they will show some spots. These trees grow in a cluster formation, almost like a few different types of shrubs. So this is a tree that almost grows in a shrub Formation. You are harvesting. You want to watch out for the hairs. If you start harvesting, like my brother Brandon just figured out that the small hairs that you see, those after a while of pulling off, if you use your whole hand of grabbing and pulling, you can actually hurt your hands. So the proper way to harvest is pick above, use your fingers, and if you have large calluses and you can pick off, you'll get like some leaves, but those are going to be fine. Then you put this in the bag. Fruiting bodies are going to be somewhere the fruit section of where the seed is will not exceed uh, three-fourths of an inch. They will be about three-fourths, a half an inch to three-fourths of an inch of this section and then one inch for the beak. So that's how you identify beaked hazelnut. If you want to see more, go down in the description below, click the link to my channel or Brandon's channel, or click the round subscribe button to both our channels to help both of us to get to a thousand subscribers. And of next time, remember to get outside, get fresh air, and have fun. See ya.